Hello everybody, welcome back. And uh just a little disclaimer. Don't 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 mind the towels and all that. I'm I'm in the middle of doing laundry. As you, as you can tell, I'm in the middle of doing laundry. Um but no, without further ado, we let's get into it. Uh I am doing the review of the 7 Days to Die uh 1.0 gameplay trailer. Yes, I know I'm a bit late, about a, almost a full month now, let's see. Yeah, about a month now late. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I think besides that, there's not much. So, get into it. And let's get into the 7 Days to Die 1.0 gameplay trailer. Let's find out what their plans are. Ah, yes. I love me a dead body on a chair. I've never seen this many zombies when playing the game. You guys should know. Wait, are they? Yeah. Survivor. Trade direct. Yeah. I get so scared on blood moons. I wish someone could stay the night. Wait, that was Trader Jen. Pause. Shush. But no, that's that's really cool to be honest. I'm really, honestly, that's really cool. Ah, uh, the thing is, wait a minute. What? What are their plans? I thought they had like some sort of plan for the game for anything like that. Didn't they have like a little thing going on? Yeah. Yeah, the Alpha Exodus, the road to 1.0. Oh, yeah, and I'm about two months late for that. Let's review that one as well. With more than a decade of development, Seven Days has accomplished more than our team or critics could have ever imagined. After nearly 12 years, many consider Seven Days to be the crown jewel of survival games on the market today. We've seen our game and audience grow and evolve over the years. It's been shown at trade shows and had countless early access releases. We've had a few speed bumps along the way, but we think the team, community, and game are ready for the next steps. I'm Richard Hunick, co-founder of the Fun Pimps and creator of Seven Days to Die. And I'm going to share the details about Seven Days to Die, leaving early access and the launch of version 1.0. point, we referred to 1.0 as Alpha 22, but internally, our plan has always been for Alpha 22 to be version 1. It's been the source of a lot of excitement for the team and what the future holds for the game. What does that mean for the game? It means everything we promised is still coming. We haven't forgotten about our remaining Kickstarter goals and the features we promised over the years. We are still planning on supporting 7 Days to Die, as we always have. Many of those features will be outlined on our roadmap. Future alpha updates will turn into major content. Okay. Pause. Okay. Okay. It looks like it starts in June. Okay. So it will start in June. Wait, it starts today? It's June now. Then 
It, wait, unless they mean June of next year. Yeah, it looks over here. Q4 storm brewings. Oh no. Are you telling me there's going to be damage to stuff now for your storms and all that? New threat. Hmm. Could it be like raiders? And then the road ahead. Ooh. Wait. Oh, here. Oh, he was right. Bandits. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Character system and armor clothing for Jul June and July. Okay. Armor clothing overhaul. Console launch. Road of decay. Nice. 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 Before. Wait. He'll Patches. probably explain it. We will still have experimental builds with stable releases going to consoles and other PC markets once they're ready. So when does 1.0 launch? We're currently planning for an experimental release in late May and a stable 1.0 launch in June. We'll have exact release dates as we get closer. Oh, With the launch sense. of stable 1.0, the current retail price of the game will increase to match the cost of the new console edition, which we'll cover later. If you currently own 7 Days to Die on PC or purchase it before 1.0's launch, then nothing will change. You will still get all major free updates coming. The only real change is that anyone who has not purchased the game by the launch of 1.0 will have to purchase it at a new price. Speaking of sales, we're running a last chance week-long deal starting next Monday on Steam. We are sharing this because we wanted that. to give all players the opportunity to purchase 7 Days on Steam at the lowest discount before the price goes up. This week-long sale will start April 22nd, so if you're still on the fence after 10 years, it's never been a better time. The number one comment we hear on social media is, when is the new 7 Days to Die console version coming out? Folks, you won't have to wait much longer. The game looks great and runs surprisingly smooth. What are you talking and that about? means 7 amazing. Days to Die PC 1.0 stable will be the launch version for consoles. Hmm. We are working on the exact dates but know that it's coming soon after 1.0 launch on PC. Consoles will launch digitally only, and certain features like crossplay and generating additional random gen worlds may come in post-launch patches. Okay. So what does that mean for the legacy console version owners? Due to the differences between old and current hardware, the legacy edition cannot be upgraded, and the new mm. version will have to be purchased. Damn. However, we are working closely with Sony and Microsoft to provide a discount to the digital legacy console version owners. We'll have more news on this in the coming weeks. Hmm. Also, when the new console edition launches, the legacy version will be delisted from the digital storefronts. You'll still be able to play the old game, but can no longer purchase it. This is being done to avoid product and brand confusion. Today, we posted a comprehensive FAQ alongside our work in progress roadmap image, with more details coming soon. Next week, we'll hold the last chance sale. After that, our focus will be on getting 1.0 experimental out, followed by the full 1.0 stable launch on Steam. We'll have more information on 1.0's official release, consoles release, and the roadmap's planned release dates this summer, so stay tuned. When we first set out to make Seven Days to Die, we never thought our game would bring this much interest or have this much success. That's this would surprising. not be possible without the continued support of our incredible community who have stood by us for over a decade, and we thank you for that. We will continue to support 7 Days to Die for as long as our community is hungry for more content. But know this, 7 Days is our team's greatest passion, and TFP will continue to make content and add new features and grow this franchise, because it's our favorite game too. We look forward to a bright future with many exciting releases. Thank you for watching. Well then. That definitely brings a new thing. I was going to say, just brings a lot of things to light. Uh, let's see. All I have to say is, I'm looking forward to the launch stuff, where it's going to be the... Uh, storm brings and the new threat because it's going to be a whole lot more fun because like as soon as you like have to deal with not just zombies but other humans that are joining the threat such as when the q2 2025 that is coming up next year still but 
I will still be playing the game by then. More than likely, you just got to go check out my live stream stuff on Twitch, all that, Dr. P or it's going to be twitch.tv slash drplague, all lowercase 97. Uh, but uh, for the new threat, I'm looking forward to that because having a bandit, wait, trader overhaul. Like, are we going to have more? Wait, new quest, ooh, new quest types and everything? Wait a minute, are there going to be like bandit uh, um, safe houses or something like that? Or strongholds kind of thing? Because if that's the case, I am like, the one I'm looking forward to is the new a new threat. Because just the zombies, I know I've repeated myself on that, but having just zombies kind of gets a little old once you play it more and more over time. But the new threat, I am looking forward to that. And hopefully by the time I they get to that, I probably will have to start a new world on that case, but still, like, I am looking forward to this. This is, I mean, this game and all that, I was introduced to this game by my cousin when it was, like, back, way back. I believe it was, like, 12, or, like, it was 12.4 or something like that. I'm not sure what the specifics were on that, but it was still in its early stages, and that game got me hooked on it, and when I finally got a computer, like, that was one of the first games I bought, like whether or not it was on sale or not. And I've been playing the crap out of it, like the amount of hours I have on this game, like not even from my live streams or anything like that. I uh, see where what was it? Uh, see. Where was it? Yeah, right here. Yeah, as you can tell, um, almost 200 almost 250 hours worth of gameplay. Yes, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but for considering how long I played it, I play for a long distance kind of things. But like this entire time, this game has been one of my favorite games. I didn't get my other friend hooked on it considering they, they're they still new to it, but I'm hoping they uh, want to play more of it. Because I really like playing this game, but playing it with other people makes it so much more enjoyable because of the amount of dumb shit that happens. But all I have to say is I am looking forward to the next uh, couple of 7 Days to Die, whether it goes into 1.0 or whether or not it just goes into its other updates and other planned stuff. With that out of the way, all I have to say is to the devs of this game... I say good luck to you. I am looking forward to it. And uh, I'm just really excited on this case because uh, speaking of which um, this is going to be sidetracking for just schedule stuff. Everything should still be normal for scheduling wise. It's still regular days, but this coming up uh weekend which is probably going to be the uh which one was it the 14th to the 17th i will not i might be posting something or i have might have something scheduled for posting but if that's the case i will might be able to post something but it all depends so i may post on one of those four days i may not i may just take those dates off and then have you guys just watch whatever uh content you like on my channel but if you guys want to see other content i've made um i mean not sidetracked but i'm just closing it out i uh, i hope you guys enjoyed i uh, don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and if you enjoy the content i make don't forget to follow me on twitch because i schedule on mondays wednesdays and fridays Normal time has been like 9 o'clock, but at this point, I've been doing a lot of uh, late streams. I might just switch over to doing just late streams. So if you guys want to join in on those streams, whether it be the regular times or not, I would be post... Oh, focus. Focus screen. <laughs> but uh, I should be able to let you know all of my updates are either going to be on the Discord server I have, or it's going to be... The main spot you would have more likely to find stuff on would be on the YouTube channel. All you have to do is just make sure you find the posts. Besides that, 
pretty simple It'll just see if simple post whether or not 90% of the time if I post something saying like oh I'll do a late stream that's the only time I really say it's like oh I'm just doing a late stream that's all it is but I know I'm rambling on I know that it's starting to get boring but I'll put simply good luck to the devs good luck to this game and I hope to see more content like this and I hope to see you guys enjoy more content like this so without further ado I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon. I will see you in the next one. See you guys later.